At the Cybertruck unveiling event, did Elon Musk give us enough information to calculate the efficiency and power pack size of the Cybertruck? And is the efficiency the same as the Model X? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and this is Cleaner Watt. Well, it's been several weeks since Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck, and I was sitting there thinking about the truck and its specs and kind of wondering how efficient will this vehicle be? Obviously, we know it's going to be very big. It's going to be very heavy because it's going to require quite a big battery pack to go the distance that it's supposed to be rated at. And as I was thinking through these numbers, something hit me. I realized Elon Musk actually gave us some numbers that we can use to calculate the potential efficiency of the Tesla Cybertruck. And we can even use that math to go back and determine roughly what size the battery packs will be. Now, what exactly is this math that he gave us? So first of all, if you watch the screen when he talked about the cost comparison between an F-150 and the Cybertruck, he mentioned several things that are important. And the main thing that he mentioned was that it would be $130 of monthly fuel cost. So that's a clue right there. So that may not seem like enough information to do much with, but if we can find out the miles per gallon and figure out the fuel cost that Tesla used to make these calculations, we can figure out the number of miles driven for this comparison. So here's some math. So one of the first pieces of data that we needed to find was the efficiency or the miles per gallon of the Ford F-150. So I went to fueleconomy.gov and I pulled up this data that you see here on the screen for the 2019 Ford F-150 four-wheel drive pickup. And this is with the 3.5 liter six cylinder engine. And this data from fueleconomy.gov states that the combined city highway MPG of this truck is 19 miles per gallon. And so that's the data we're going to use in our calculations. And then also now we need to figure out what Tesla used for the cost of gas, and in a few minutes we'll need to know the cost of electricity. So I thought through, where can I find these numbers? And it dawned on me that if you go to the Tesla website and you pull up the car configurator, like you're gonna order a Model 3, a Model X, Model Y, or a Model S, you can click on Calculate Your Payments and Tesla down here shows you what they use on the website to calculate their fuel savings cost. And so I'm going to make the assumption in my calculations that Tesla has used the same numbers from their website that they use to make these calculations. And they use those same numbers when they calculated the efficiency of the Cybertruck and how it would compare to the Ford F-150. So you'll see on the screen here, this is directly pulled from Tesla's website, that they are assuming... 13 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity and they're assuming two dollars and 85 cents per gallon for premium gasoline so those are the numbers we're going to use and we're going to figure out some of the missing numbers that we have in our calculations so in order to get where we want to be which ultimately is the efficiency of the tesla cybertruck the first thing we need to do is figure out how much fuel was used in the Ford F-150 in this calculation. So we simply take the $130 of monthly fuel costs that Elon stated, divide that by $2.85 a gallon, and we figure out that 45.61 gallons were used for this $130 calculation. Then what we need to do is we need to multiply the number of gallons of fuel times the efficiency of the truck. And so that's 45.61 times 19 miles per gallon. And we get the calculation of 866.67 miles driven in a month for this calculation. Now that is the important number that we needed from this because we need a miles driven in order to piece that in and figure out the efficiency of the Tesla Cybertruck. So here's what we found out. The Ford F-150 gets around 19 miles per gallon. The estimated fuel cost that Elon gave us was $130 per month. We pulled from Tesla's website that their comparison cost of fuel per gallon is $2.85. We calculated because of that, 45.61 gallons were used in this example, and that calculated out to 866.67 miles driven. 
Now we want to take some of those same numbers and we want to calculate the energy used and the efficiency of the Tesla Cybertruck. So first of all, when Elon talked about the comparison between the Ford F-150 and the Cybertruck, he compared a $130 fuel cost of the Ford F-150 per month to $40 of electricity in the Tesla Cybertruck per month. And so now it's going to be pretty simple to figure out how many kilowatt hours were used for this calculation. So we take $40 divided by 13 cents per kilowatt hour and that tells us that we could buy 307.69 kilowatt hours of electricity for that $40. So that's an important number. Now, if we want to figure out the kilowatt hours per mile, we just simply take the 307.69 kilowatt hours of electricity, divide that by the 866.67 miles that we used in our comparison with the Ford F-150, and, and assuming that those are equal because that would be a comparison, two equal miles driven, and we figure out that the mid-range dual motor Tesla Cybertruck efficiency should be somewhere around 0.355 kilowatt hours per mile. And if you convert that over to watt hours per mile, that's 355 watt hours per mile efficiency. Now we can take the efficiency there of 0.355 kilowatt hours per mile and simply multiply that by the 300 mile stated range of the dual motor Cybertruck and you get a 106.5 kilowatt hour pack in the mid-range dual motor Tesla Cybertruck. So in review here is what we were able to figure out with these calculations. Elon of course mentioned that in the comparison $130 of Ford F-150 gasoline cost would be the equivalent to $40 of electricity cost in the Cybertruck. Of course, we knew based on the website that they use a 13 cents per kilowatt hour for calculations. We know that we figured out 866.67 miles driven in these examples. And then we use that to calculate the fact that 307.69 kilowatt hours were used to go 866.67 miles which comes out to an efficiency of 0.355 kilowatt hours per mile or 355.03 watt hours per mile. Now what does this number really mean and how important is the efficiency of 355 watt hours per mile? Is that any good? Well, I thought it important to compare this to the efficiency of other Tesla vehicles. So I went on once again to fueleconomy.gov and I pulled up this graphic which shows the 2020 Tesla Model S long range as compared to the Model 3 long range as compared to the Model X long range. Now these are the, the, the X and the S, those there are the Raven updated models with the extended ranges and so you'll see there the Tesla Model S with 373 miles of stated range, the Model 3 with 322 miles of stated range, and the Model X with 328 miles of total range. And you'll notice there that it gives us the kilowatt hours per 100 miles of each of those vehicles. So if we simply calculate that out, do the math, we can very easily figure out that based on the EPA's rating, the Model 3 long range all-wheel drive takes about 280 watt hours per mile. The Model X long range consumes about 350 watt hours per mile and the Model S consumes about 300 watt hours per mile. So what this means is potentially the mid-range Tesla Cybertruck could have the same efficiency of a Tesla Model X. That would be incredible. If Tesla is able to do that with this vehicle, I believe that means they have some better technology and efficiency than they even have now. And so in my opinion, the big breakthrough here is the fact that they're going to be able to manufacture this big heavy vehicle, but it not be as heavy as we think because I do believe they're going to be able to take what they acquired from Maxwell Technologies and the battery technology there and maybe some other technologies they're putting together and they're going to be able to put over a 100 kilowatt hour pack in there that doesn't weigh as much as today's 100 kilowatt hour pack. And so I think that's where they're going to gain the efficiencies and I do believe that my calculations are correct and that they will have the Cybertruck somewhere around the 355 watt hours per mile.
Do let me know what you think in the comments below, and let me know what you think about the efficiency of the Tesla Cybertruck. Do you think these numbers are realistic? Do you think they can match the efficiency of the Model X? And thank you so much once again for watching through this video. If you are not yet subscribed to the video, I do ask that you would consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click that bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are put up throughout each week. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find this video as well. Thank you so much.